the like button and the subscribe and make sure you click the bell uh -huh. and click all so you can yeah. so you can miss uh -huh. a part two uh -huh. all these videos so you won't miss any video uh -huh. mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Hi. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Because I've been working out and lifting weights as of late, I've been more intentional about my protein intake. So I'm starting off my day with a protein shake and I'm using this keto pudding mix that is actually plant-based as well, just to thicken up my smoothie. But if you want, you can just freeze your avocados for a thicker smoothie. But that pudding mix also gives a caramel flavor. So that's why I like adding it too, but don't feel like you have to add that. I also added some keto creamer the nut pots creamer to that to just add more flavor but that's also optional as well i can't wait to gulp down <laughs> this smoothie because i'm actually hungry after working out and i know this is going to be super filling this makes two servings so i'm just going to drink some of it now and eventually finish it before my next meal or before lunch only had one serving of that protein smoothie for breakfast this morning and I was so full that I had to put up the rest for another day so I'm definitely ready for a full and savory lunch. I had some shiitake mushrooms in the fridge that were about to go bad so I refused to let them spoil so I washed them with some baking soda and water and now I'm going to season them to make somewhat of a plant based slash vegan keto bacon. I'm using sugar free syrup here just to clarify for anyone um, in terms of getting that maple bacon flavor and you can use this recipe to put on I think almost any type of mushroom to get just like a bacon flavor on those mushrooms so I'm going to get the glaze marinated into these shiitake mushrooms throw them in the air fryer and they'll be ready for my full and savory wrap that I want to have for a lunch While I'm waiting on my shiitake bacon to crisp up in my air fry, I'm gonna cut up some onions because I'm going to cook some kale. I like including greens in most of my meals, so kale will be the green of choice today. Um, yeah, so I always flavor my savory food with peppers and onions, no peppers today, but I checked on my shiitake bacon and I wanted to add some salt after tasting it just to give it a more uh, salty flavor like bacon. So yeah, now we're going to put our onions into our frying pan and we're going to cook them down and use frozen kale for the sake of time i like buying my greens and my, most of my veggies frozen so that they don't spoil if i don't get to them so kale is one of those things i like to buy frozen like i said before and i'm just going to cook it down here on high heat and with the onions to give it optimal flavor I'm going to season it now with some all-purpose seasoning, garlic, and seasoned salt, keeping it real simple as it's just going to be an addition to an already savory wrap. I can't wait to dig in. If you watched my last Sam's Club Keto Grocery Haul, you saw when I bought these plant-based Baby Bell cheeses that are low carb enough for me and what I allow for myself during the day in terms of carb count, net carb count. So I'm going to um, split this one block of cheese into two quesadillas and I'm going to put some cheese on each side, add our cooked down kale that is full of flavor and then to that I'm going to add our bacon. 
and our bacon came out so well in the air fry this is how they came out you can see it's a bit crisp but very well flavored and uh yeah ready for our quesadilla i'm very happy that they didn't go to waste that's just my main thing and you know uh bacon hit me bacon mushrooms don't carry many carbs so they're a perfect addition to be like fillers for your dishes so that's why i am intentional about using them in the dishes so now we're going to add our pre-made quesadillas to a hot pan. I sprayed it with some olive oil. I'm just going to let it crisp up on each side and allow the cheese to melt. Then I'm going to transfer these to a beautiful dish and we're going to dig in. I can't wait. If you're a long-standing member of the Goody Crew, you know that I like to have dinners that are quick and easy after cooking dinner for my family. So I'm going to be using these Impossible Burgers. I used to use Beyond, but the Impossible just tastes better. I'll take whatever consequence. And um, there I am using a pot cover that's way too small. And of course, we're going to be using some peppers and onions to flavor this up. I'm using this umami seasoning for additional flavor from Trader Joe's. It is so good. You have to give it a try. Slap your mama as my salt of choice tonight just to add some spice to the burgers and I'm going to use some jerk seasoning the ingredients show sugar but the nutritional label doesn't so I'm just going to use this very carefully just to get a jerk flavor quick quick jerk flavor and that's it I'm not using too much and of course some garlic powder for additional flavor because I do keto with what flavor so I'm always going to have a good amount of seasoning on my protein so I'm just going to cook this down in the peppers and onions and seasoning and we're going to make some delicious burgers and as a bonus I'm going to use my shiitake bacon that we made earlier just to add more flavor to this burger is gonna be so good my mouth is watering oh my gosh just wait and see wait and see then one of these tonight one of these buns I'm vegan mayo this is my favorite kind get this with some vegan mayo and I am rushing because your girl is hungry I'm gonna add a tomato to each bun. I have I have the other half of the avocado from earlier. I'm just gonna scrape off the ugliness just to get to the pretty part. You know, I'm gonna scrape it off. Really and truly, I should leave it because like I said, I'm hungry. Yeah. Just the other half of the avocado. I'm gonna put half over here. I should mush it so that I don't have any problems biting my burger. I'm not worried about being cute right now. I'm just mushing it so that when I bite the burger, it's not making a whole mess and like coming out. I hate when like the different components of my sandwich are not staying in. So I'm just going to mush that in so good. And of course, I'm going to make sure we get some of those cooked onions on there and some of the I'm not going to do too much. Yeah, the shiitake mushroom bacon. I still have a little bit left. I'm just going to add a couple pieces here. Not too much. Just for more flavor. Ooh, this is about to be banging. I'm just going to close this up and get a bite. Oh my gosh. No, you guys got to get it. Look at her. Look at her. Uh, this is the same girl that said she was hungry, you know, wasting time. Hold on, let me cut it in half. Because look at, the, look at that. All right, let me bite it. Hold on. Listen to me. You have to try this, okay? Do it exactly how you saw me do it. Don't add anything different. Well, don't try to be creative. Just do exactly what I did. Make you this burger. Oh my gosh. Guys, thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It helps my channel. And um, 
yeah thank you for being here and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Yeah. So you can um, a part to uh -huh. all these videos so you won't miss any videos. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Parts. Mm hmm. Bye. Bye. Exactly. Bye. Exactly. 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 Sometimes I can get up.